okay guys and welcome back to the second part of the to do list app video so in this one we'll go ahead and start working with create view update view delete view and all that so in order to start working with delete view and if you follow the last video you will know that we have talked about introduction to django and all that we talked about what this to do list app is going to do and all that then we worked with our models.py um worked with the admin section then we finally went ahead and start working working with the list view and we worked with the detail view so with this one we want to go ahead and start working with the create view and in order to work with the create view firstly we need to import the create view and let's say we're going to import it from here and it's going to be imported from django dot views dot generic so i think i'm not getting the spelling of this correct so django dot views dot generic then dot edit yeah from edit then we should import create view so from the same edit that's where we're going to import update view and all that but for now we are not using the update view so let's just let's just stick with the create view for now the next thing i want to do is go ahead and create a class for it so i'm going to say class task create just like that and it's going to inherit from the create view and there should be a colon at the back over there so with all this done i want to also import reverse lazy so what reverse lazy is going to help us to do is just like reverse just like redirecting the user back to some report it's not to redirect it reverse in so let's just import this i was to talk about it when we keep working with this video so i want to say from django the urls so from django.urls i want to import a reverse lazy just like that we are not using it now but we are still going to use it so the first thing i want to say is models is equal to tax so we all the model that we're working with is task and the next thing we're gonna do is define a field for it so let me talk to you guys about what um, actually the crates view does so this crates view is just gonna like um show us a form it's gonna give us a form and this form is gonna help us create whatever we want to create for example let's come back to our website and go to a database so you see that when we click on add task it gives us this form so this is just like a create view something like that but this is in the admin now we want it to be on our website over here but how do we do that that's the problem now how do we do that we have to use either model forms or we use our model so let me go ahead and explain this to you model forms in in django if you have followed some of my tutorials in django like when i was working building the google clone and the chat app you would know that i used model forms when i want to make forms and all that but in this one we want to stick with the models.py so in the models.py there is this basic form fields that we define here like the user the title the description the complete and the create them so if i don't want to use the same the same um, forms like the same variables over here as a form table then i can just go ahead and create a new one in models.py let's say i don't want to use user i don't want to use title i don't want to use description like i need a totally new form then i can go over and start creating a model form here in django but i want to stick with this one and let's say you are working with model forms in django then you want to use form class then passing whatever the name of your model form is but now i'm just going to stick with the models.py so what i want to say is call fields so this field is gonna help us just like give us the the option to ch choose the fields that we want to show up on our create view for example over here you see the user field is showing the title field is showing the description field is showing so if we want we can create a list and we can say the title we want a title we can create another comma and say we want description and all that we actually want all the fields to get shown and how do we do that now we need to open up a string like this then there's going to be underscore underscore all underscore underscore so this is simply gonna give us all the fields that we have in our models.py just like this and hopefully you understand i want to go ahead and close up some tabs in here i already have some some tabs running let's close this and uh, let's close this one too okay this is pretty much all i need so back here the next thing we need now is a success url so we created a, a new task yeah we created a new task what's the next thing we want to do after creating the new task we want to go to somewhere so take a close look at this i created a new task over here this is a new this is a new task so let me just name this a new task then i clicked on save so take note of this when i click on save where does it go just ask yourself now let me go ahead and click on save so i clicked on save okay we are getting this error because 
um, here we haven't done anything let's let me go ahead and get rid of this so here uh, let's refresh this and it should be working fine so I come over here I created a new tax this is a new tax then take note if I click on save what's gonna happen just take a close look at this I clicked on save where did it bring us back to so it's brought us, it's brought us back to the task list where we have all the lists so that's exactly the same thing we want to do when we create a task we want to bring it back to the task list and in order to do that we're going to use reverse lazy so we're going to use reverse lazy and we're going to set this to task so take note this is the context object name sorry the template name in the urls is task this one over here and that's why we are passing in this tax so let's say this one over here is something like task dash list task like this then over here we're gonna pass in task dash list take note that's pretty much how it works I want to stick with just task for this one and that should pretty much be it for the views now let's go over to our URLs and make a URL for this now the URL is gonna look I'm um, very identical with the first one so it's if you go over to task dash create that's where we want to see it now we want to import the the create view so let's come over to our views and this is it over here task create we want to import this in our urls.py so we are importing this over here now we're gonna say we define this part over here already then we gonna say task dot this as view and there's gonna be a parenthesis then finally we're gonna pass in a name and this name is gonna be task dash create we're gonna use this to define buttons later so task dash create now everything should be working really fine let's go ahead and refresh our website but if we refresh our website we are gonna get a template error so let's come over to slash task dash create now we are getting a template error so it says template does not ex exist at this so it's looking for a template name with the name of task underscore form now let's go ahead and do that so in our to do we're going to right click and come over to new and we're going to come over to html and this is going to be task underscore forms task underscore form or we could just paste in what we we'll copied and hit enter just like this let's get rid of this and make sure that everything is working fine so in here in the task.create i just want to make sure everything is working fine let's come over here define the h1 and we're going to call this task form so we come over here and refresh and as you can see everything is working totally fine now the first thing i want to do is define a form so this form is going to have a method of post just like that and it's going to have a csrf token i don't know you I'm not sure if you know what CSRF token is, but for now, let's not put it so we, we're going to encounter the error then, you'll see the usefulness of it and what, is that, what it does. So before we encounter the error, let me just tell you what it does. It's just used for protection of our website when we're using the method post because an attacker or some somebody may just try assessing our website by injecting some malicious url in the input field and all that so when we're using the django csrf token it actually helps all that gets filtered out and it makes our life more easier and safe from attackers and hackers and all that so in here i want to call form so i'm going to call the variable form so this is what the the django form already has so when i call form come over here and refresh what do you notice i have all the same form that's in here so i have all this user this is it over here user i have title of description and i have complete and i have all that and that's because i used this where is it in views of and that's because i used this all okay let's just comment this out and let's say um, i want to use something else for example let's say i want to use fields so i just want to do this so you will understand everything that's going on and let's say i just want to use um title just like that so when i come over here and refresh what you notice is now only the title that's here now let's say i want to also add the description so let's say i'm adding the description now when i refresh what do you notice the description gets added and that's why we are sticking with all so that's why we are sticking with all we want to use all the want to use all the fields that we have in our models.py so we're gonna have all this but do you notice something everything is on a straight line like they are supposed to be um like on a different line and that's because we are not using dot as p as paragraph so in our task underscore form you want to say form dot as underscore p now when you refresh everything should kind of look good so for now i told you guys we are not focusing on styling we'll be styling later in this video so now if you go ahead and say destiny and let's say this is a new product okay let's just say something like the create 
form did did this now we come over here and we say some let's just stick with that so how do we save now we have the save button over here but right here we do not have it so how do we save in that case we need to now define an input so this input is going to help us um, make the save button so we're going to have save and this value is going to be save task so when you refresh now we have this so you come over here let's fill this in a list some like the create whatever let's get rid of it let's say the create form did this now we click on save task okay now we get into csrf verification field error and that's because we are not adding django csrf token do you remember what django csrf token is i told you from a few seconds ago so let's go ahead and add that over here so you want to open up open up single Curly brackets like that, and there's going to be percentage sign in there. Then it's going to be followed by CSRF underscore token, just like this. So when we refresh this, we should still get this error. All we have to do is to refresh our whole URL or do Control Shift R for a total refresh. Now we're going to say the the create form did this and we're gonna click on save task what do you notice it gets what it worked it got us to this place and everything is looking really nice as you can see it says the create form did this and it's working so you view this you see it's totally working now so our create form is working perfectly well now there's one more thing I want to do so in our task form for some reasons you wanted to create a task and you just don't want to create the task any longer for some reasons so we want to say something like go back just like this so in sorry not here let's just come over to slash tax dash create and as you can see there's a go back button that will just take you back to the task this one over here now let's go ahead and define the url for that we're going to open up single curly brackets passing parentage sign then there's going to be url and we want to go back to task so we're gonna go back to task just like that. So when we refresh and click on this, it brings us back to the task and everything is looking really fine now. Also in the task on the list, we wanna create a new button that's gonna take us to the to the task page. So this is gonna be add and let's just name this task create and there is not gonna be any ID. Let's get rid of the ID. So with this now, when we come over here and refresh, okay, it says reverse for task creates not found, blah, blah, blah. It's not a um, valid function or pattern name and that's in our URL. So that's not the one we are using. Let's just make sure we copy this, come over to our task underscore list and make sure that that's what we are pasting in here. So when we come over here now and refresh, everything should work fine. So when we come over here now and click on add, so we click on add and as you can see it takes us here we can see some like clean house let's see there's a really clean house there okay let's just say we want to see some like clean house too okay or wash car wash car tomorrow something like that and click on the save task and as you can see we have wash car tomorrow and it's looking really really awesome so the next thing i want to do is just go ahead and work with the update view so the update view is just going to help us update our existing task now how do we do that in the views.py you want to import updates view here so we're going to say up dates so we're going to say um just like this let's make sure that we are getting everything correct updates view okay everything is looking nice now so we want to define a class for it the class is going to be called task updates task updates just like that and it's going to inherit from from in sorry it's gonna hurt it from updates view so i want to show you guys something when i started working with pycharm i noticed this error that that made me actually um cry okay i'm just being sarcastic so this error actually isn't really it's not an error but i find it as an error so let's say you want to change this update over here or let's say you want to change this view you want to change the w to a now all you have to do is hit backspace and hit w but what if your mouse starts showing up like this like it's normally showing up the straight line that when you hit backspace it takes a what you don't want and when you hit e it just takes okay this is weird 
all you have to do is hit the insert key on your keyboard and everything should come back find the way it is so i just want to make sure that you don't encounter this error and if you do i don't want you to like find it so uh, so difficult and all that so the next thing i want to say is to find the model so this model is going to be task and there's going to be a field and this field is going to have if you remember i told you it's gonna have um oh yeah so on us call call all this is gonna look exactly like our crates view then finally there's gonna be a success url so when we do this there's gonna be a success url and it should go back to task just like that okay with all this now we should go to our urls.py and configure the url so over here it's gonna look exactly like this one so we just want to duplicate this and this is gonna be task dash update so change this to task dash update then finally this is gonna be make sure that you are importing the task updates already so task updates and over here we want to have task updates just like that and finally stick with the naming convention task updates okay everything should be looking good let's go ahead and try updating some so when you come over to slash task dash update remember dash update slash one so what do you see here you see rake leaves so when we say something like rake leaves updated and click on save task what do you notice it's magically updated it okay it's just just look feels or looks like a magic i don't know but it's not magic under the hood that's what it does so as you can see it's updated this now let's say we want to update this one and going into the url and typing that out is kind of stressful let's go ahead and just define a link for it so in the task on the list you just want to duplicate this and this is going to be task update and this is going to be updates just like that so when you refresh over here you see it reverse for this it's not a okay that's because in our url it's not the same thing that we are using so we use tasks updates and that's the same thing we want to use in the task list so just add an s over here and everything should work not fine let's actually paste in what we are using and there's gonna be a okay tasks.id here so that's the error tasks.id so when we refresh now everything is looking nice so if you click on updates it should take you to um, a form where you can update all this so for example this is this is a new task okay clean house you click on update and let's say this is now want to be clean house updated when you click on save task as you can see it updates it and that is really amazing just take a close look at it it's really amazing now finally let's go ahead and walk with a detail view so the sorry i mean to say the delete view so the delete view is gonna render two pages and one is gonna be confirmed if, if we really want to delete the item or the task then the other is gonna actually just delete the task so let's go ahead and do that in the views.py you also want to import delete view from here and down here let's make a class for it so we're gonna say class and this is gonna be task delete just like the other ones and it's gonna inherit from delete view just like a parameter that you're passing in there then the next thing we want to do is set a model just like we have been doing and this is going to be task now we will want to change the context object's name to task just like we have been doing for all these ones if you remember we did it for this one and that now we need to create a new folder sorry not a new folder we need to create a new file i was i meant to say file so we need to create a new file and the name of this file is going to be task underscore confirm dot delete so that's what class based view is going to be looking for here right click come over to html or should we show you that first should i show you that that's what the um normal class based view is going to look for okay let's just not waste time let's go ahead and do this so we're going to say um task underscore confirm underscore delete and make sure your spelling are uh, actually correct so with all this does html you hit enter and firstly we just want to define a form so there's going to be a form 
this form is going to have a method of post because we actually want to click on a button that's going to delete some then finally we want to add django csrf token whenever you are using post make sure you are adding csrf underscore token and everything should work really fine for you you should not encounter error plus the fact that it's securing you from the bad guys so the next thing we want to do now is just define a p tag and this p tag is going to say something like are you sure you want to delete this item are you sure you want to delete this task yeah let's just call it task then uh, let's add the task name so to add the task name we just say task yeah just like that so to add the task name it's very easy we just say task just like that now the next thing we want to do is just put an input field so let's just give an input this is going to be the delete button so submit then value is going to be value is going to be something like yes delete and finally we want to have a link that's going to say no go back okay in case you change your mind and you don't want to delete any longer so this should just take you back to the task so you should take you back to url task and this is no go back and this is yes delete whatever you want to add here okay with all this i think we should be done let's go ahead and refresh our website and see what we are having but right now we want to add um a url first we don't have a url remember so we duplicate this one down here we duplicate the updates url then what you, we just want to change this update to delete make sure you're copying that we add it over here to task delete then we want to import the task delete view then finally we're going to change this to task delete just like that the task view and everything should be working totally fine so let's go over to the task list and define a url for it so we're going to duplicate this one and this one is going to be delete so it's going to be delete just like that now let's come over here and and add the url so we want to change this to delete delete and everything should be working totally fine so when you refresh now you get delete so we want to delete the rake leaves but before this i want to see like the numbers i want to see like the id numbers for example is this number one is this number two is this number three let's go ahead and do that so in task underscore list what you want to say is just just come over here and we're going to open up double coily brackets like that and we're going to say task just like this dot id then when you refresh you see we get the ids so let's just add like a space like this okay as you can see this is what we want so number one is rake leaf number two is blah 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 and all that so let's say we want to delete number six so we can click on delete it says are you sure you want to delete this task watch car tomorrow so you see it's called the name of the task so when you click on yes delete it actually got deleted but right now it's giving us an improperly configured url error and that's because it doesn't know where to go because that's uh, that task doesn't exist any longer now it doesn't know where to redirect to after that so let's go ahead and help out our brother over here that's encountering an error so come over to the views.py and you want to just copy this success url and let's just paste it down here and that should fix everything so when you refresh this you should now go back to here and as you can see number six is gone bye bye number six so number five we can go ahead and delete this yes it gets it's gone you can go ahead and delete this too it's gone so when you come over to delete and you say no go back you see it brings you back here and as you can see everything is working totally fine and i mean totally fine we can view we can update we can add we can add a new one then finally we can go ahead and delete so with all this that's pretty much it for the detail view and the class base views the detail the updates the delete the list and the words on the last one the, the the detail is it a detail i don't know if i've mentioned that before whatever so that's pretty much it for the class based views and hopefully you enjoyed it now i want to go ahead and start talking to you guys about login and logout with the registration page you know i told you this so this is going to have the ability to create a user to log in a user and all that so i want to go ahead and start talking about now that's now in this course